Hi guys, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If I joined this channel for the very first time, my name is Onomi and this is Onomi Empire. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, you guys are amazing. So today I want to make this beautiful dishwashing liquid. This is pH balanced and can be used for your dishwashing machine. Make sure you watch this video to the end. I love you. So guys, welcome to another DIY creation with Anomi Empire. Now let's prep in all our ingredients. First, this is 9 liters of water in this bowl. Make sure you take notes. 9 liters of water. And now we are going to add this water in our bowl. All the bowls we want to use to dissolve our chemicals. Make sure you're wearing a hand glove when you're handling all these chemicals for safety, guys. So the amount of water, you'll be removing them from your 9 liters of water. First, we want to use our SLS. It's a surfactant that helps to break surface tension to allow better interaction with other chemicals. It's a very effective and foaming agent. So this will help our dishwashing liquid foam effectively. I'm going to drop all the measurements of this on the screen. We are making about 10 liters of dishwashing liquid in this formulation. Next is our sodium carbonate, which is also known as soda ash. This is a cleaning agent that enhances the washing performance of your soap. This will help our soap become, you know, thicker and also help us wash better. Now I'm going to dissolve it in my water that I prepped earlier before. We're using about 200 gram for this production this video right guys please help me like this video share this video with your friends and family support onomi's empire so that youtube is going to push this video forward for me so that i can reach more viewers guys next is a stpp it's called sodium tripolyphosphate it's a strong cleaning and thickening agent it allows all our surfactant who work at their full potential that's why we're adding this in our formulation we're adding a little bit of it not much because we are not making liquid soap this is a dishwashing guys next is our citric acid this is uh, going to balance the ph level of our soap and it's also helped to break down hard water and makes our soap works better that's why we're adding this into our dishwashing liquid remember this dishwashing liquid can also be used for those that have dishwashing machine so this is a superb recipe for you guys now we are going to pour a little bit of water from our nine liters of water one liter of water in this bowl we want to add the next ingredient next is our sulfonic acid this is not sulfuric acid it's sulfonic acid this sulfonic acid will help our soap foam and clean better you know this uh we are using about 250 grams in our formulation this is a dishwashing liquid so we're not, we are not going to use much next is our uh, texapon. Texapon is also a foaming booster agent. It's an anionic surfactant which will help to, you know, make our soap lather effectively. I like adding my sulfonic acid with my texapon. You could do otherwise, but I like mixing up them together. Now make sure you mix these two up before we add in the next ingredient. Next is our salt. This is our sodium chloride. It has a natural antimicrobial properties. It's also fight bacteria and it's a very good preservative that helps to extend the shelf life of our soaps. We need this in a dishwashing liquid. Now I'm adding my salt directly into my mixture of texapon and sulfonic acid. You can actually mix it with water on your own, but I love this. Now I set aside all my chemicals and this is how they look like after some time. Next is our nitrosol. This is a cleaning and a thickening agent, also called HEC. This will help to thicken up our production. Now let's begin. Now I'm adding in my HEC little by little, little by little, little by little, so that I don't get lumps in my soap. And this dishwashing liquid is one of a kind. You get a very clear and amazing dishwashing liquid if you follow this production or if you follow this recipe. 
well add and stir i add and stir so that i'm not going to have lumps in my soup you can see how clear this is make sure you stir this up for about 15 minutes but i was in a hurry you know i was about to go for my ninth shift so i'm just going to you know prepare them once and for all now i'm adding in my solution of texapon sodium chloride and sulfonic acid i'm just going to mix them up this will become thicker immediately you mix them up together please like this video share this video and subscribe guys support on no miss empire i love you now next we are going to add a soda ash to our production it has already dissolved make sure all these chemicals dissolve completely before you add them into our production our soap is starting to thicken up you can see starting to thicken up and it's looking amazing now, i've said this before on my channel that making soap any soap of any kind is stirring make sure you stir this thing completely next is my xtpp you can see it has dissolved completely stir this production very well so that you don't have complaint ma my soap turn watery ma my soap have lumps you're not going to have any of that next is our sls it has dissolved completely from what you can see here and i'm adding it into our formulation stir this thing very well so that you can get a very smooth blend guys i've been seeing all your reviews and it is amazing thank you for trying out all my recipes guys now i'm adding in my citric acid to this formulation make sure you don't add too much because citric acid has a tendency to actually make your soap liquidy so don't say i didn't warn you so guys thank you for all the reviews thank you for those that try my product i love you so much make sure you like this video subscribe share with your friends and family i hear many of you just watch my video without subscribing have bar support on Nomi's empire now don't forget to add preservative to this soap i added about 10 grams of preservative in this soap and this is the next day when i came back from work look at how our soap is looking so clear and beautiful guys this soap turned out so well and i want yours to turn out like that too if you follow the procedures now this is our color i added a little bit of pink and red because i want to get something like a coral color like this the one you're seeing on the screen it's not red it's not pink it's just in between and it's so beautiful i love the end product of this now i want to scoop some soap aside so that i could add in my fragrance i'm using uh oil based fragrance that's why i'm scooping aside but if you're using a water base you could just add directly to your production i'm using 10 grams of our fragrance you can use strawberry banana mango orange your preference guys and we've added it into our soap and we're just going to mix it up to get a very smooth blend of your soap now this soap is looking so cloudy but the next day is going to shock you ah it's so lovely guys this is the consistency it's not too thick it's not runny it's just in between like a dishwasher you see in the market now guys this is the next day and our dishwashing liquid is looking so amazing so beautiful you could sell these guys and make cool cash now look at how the consistency is looking so good and we are going to test the ladder test this is my favorite part i love this part so much and this ladder so much please guys i want you to try this recipe and give me your feedback this can be used for your dishwashing machine this will clean oil tough stains from your dishes thank you so much for watching make sure you try this recipe bye i love